Nagpur is the third largest city and winter capital of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Nagpur is the 13th largest Indian city in terms of population. According to the Oxford Economics Report, Nagpur will be the fifth fastest growing city in the world from 2019 to 2035 with an average growth of 8.41%. It has been proposed as one of the smart cities in Maharashtra. Nagpur is the seat of the annual winter session of the Maharashtra State Assembly. It is a major commercial and political center of the Vidarbha region of Maharashtra. In addition, the city derives unique importance from being the headquarters for the Hindu nationalist organization RSS and an important location for the Dalit Buddhist movement. Nagpur is also known for Dikshabhumi, the largest hollow stupa among all the Buddhist stupas in the world. According to a survey by ABP News Ipsos, Nagpur has been identified as the best city in India topping in livability, greenery, public transport, and health care indices in 2013. The city has been adjudged the 20th cleanest city in India and the top mover in the western zone as per Swachh Sarvekshan 2016. It was awarded as the best city for innovation and best practice in Swachh Sarvekshan 2018. It was also declared as open defecation free in January 2018 under Swachh Bharat Mission. It is famous for Nagpur oranges and is sometimes known as the Orange City for being a major trade center of oranges cultivated in the region. The city was founded in 1703 by the Gans king Bakht Bulan Shah of Diogar and later became a part of the Maratha Empire under the Royal Bonsale dynasty. The British East India Company took over Nagpur in the 19th century and made it the capital of the central provinces and Berar. After the first reorganisation of states, the city lost its status as the capital. Following the informal Nagpur pact between political leaders, it was made the second capital of Maharashtra. History Also see, Nagpur State Etymology One of the earlier names of Nagpur was Phanindrapura. It derives its origin from the Pana or hood of a cobra. In fact, Nagpur's first newspaper was named Phanindramani, which means a jewel that is believed to be suspended over a cobra's hood. It is this jewel that lights up the darkness, hence the name of the newspaper. The river Nag flows through the city. B. R. Ambedkar claimed that both the city and the river are named after Nag people. The word pure means city in many Indian languages. During British rule, the name of the city was spelt and pronounced as Nagpur. Early and medieval history In the 18th century, this city was created by leader of Gond dynasty named Bakht Bulan Shah in the first half of the century. Human existence around present-day Nagpur can be traced back 3,000 years to the 8th century BCE. Mahir burial sites at the Drugdamna near the Mhada colony indicate that the megalithic culture existed around Nagpur and is still followed. The first reference to the name, Nagpur, is found in a 10th century copper plate inscription discovered at Diwali in the neighboring Warda district. The inscription is a record of grant of a village situated in the Visaya district of Nagpur Anandavardhana during the time of the Rastrakuta king Krsna III in the Saka year 862. 940 CE. Towards the end of the 3rd century, King Vindhyasakti is known to have ruled the Nagpur region. In the 4th century, the Vakataka dynasty ruled over the Nagpur region and surrounding areas and had good relations with the Gupta Empire. The Vakataka king Prithvisena I moved his capital to Nagardhan ancient name Nandavardhana, 38 km 24 miles from Nagpur. After the Vakatakas, the region came under the rule of the Hindu kingdoms of the Badami Shalukas, the Rashtrakutas. The Paramaras of Malwa appear to have controlled the Nagpur region in the 11th century. A Prashasti inscription of the Paramara king Lakshmadeva R.C. 1086-1094 has been found at Nagpur. Subsequently, the region came under the Yadavas of Devagiri. In 1296, Aladdin Kilji invaded the Yadava kingdom after capturing Diogiri, after which the Tughlaq dynasty came to power in 1317. In the 17th century, the Mughal Empire conquered the region, however during Mughal era, regional administration was carried out by the Gond Kingdom of Diogar Nagpur in the Chindwara district of the modern-day state of Madhya Pradesh. 
In the 18th century, Bonzils of the Maratha Empire established the Nagpur Kingdom based in the city. Topic: <laughs> Modern History. After Bakht Bulan Shah, the next Raja king of Diogar was Chan Sultan, who resided principally in the country below the hills, fixing his capital at Nagpur, which he turned into a walled town. On Chan Sultan's death in 1739, Wali Shah, an illegitimate son of Bakht Buland, usurped the throne and Chan Sultan's widow invoked the aid of the Maratha leader Raghoji Bosail of Berar in the interest of her sons Akbar Shah and Burhan Shah. The usurper was put to death and the rightful heirs placed on the throne. After 1743, a series of Maratha rulers came to power, starting with Raghoji Bosail, who conquered the territories of Diogar, Chanda and Chhattisgarh by 1751, Nagpur was burnt substantially in 1765 and again partially in 1811 by Marauding Pindaris. However, the development of city of Nagpur continued. In 1803 Raghoji II Bosail joined the Peshwa against the British in the Second Anglo-Maratha War, but the British prevailed. After Raghoji II's death in 1816, his son Parsaji was deposed and murdered by Mudhoji II Bosail. Despite the fact that he had entered into a treaty with the British in the same year, Mudhoji joined the Peshwa in the Third Anglo-Maratha War in 1817 against the British but suffered a defeat at Sitabudi in present-day Nagpur city. The fierce battle was a turning point as it laid the foundations of the downfall of the Bosales and paved the way for the British acquisition of Nagpur city. Mudhoji was deposed after a temporary restoration to the throne, after which the British placed Raghoji III Bosale, the grandchild of Raghoji II, on the throne. During the rule of Raghoji III, which lasted till 1840, the region was administered by a British resident. In 1853, the British took control of Nagpur after Raghoji III died without leaving an heir. From 1853 to 1861, the Nagpur province which consisted of the present Nagpur region, Chindwara, and Chhattisgarh became part of the central provinces and Berar and came under the administration of a commissioner under the British central government, with Nagpur as its capital. Berar was added in 1903. The advent of the Great Indian Peninsula Railway in 1867 spurred its development as a trade centre. Tata Group started the country's first textile mill at Nagpur, formerly known as Central India Spinning and Weaving Company Limited. The company was popularly known as Empress Mills. As it was inaugurated on 1 January 1877, the day Queen Victoria was proclaimed Empress of India, the non-cooperation movement was launched in the Nagpur session of 1920. The city witnessed a Hindu-Muslim riot in 1923 which had profound impact on K.B. Hedgewar, who in 1925 founded the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh RSS, a Hindu nationalist organization in Mohitwada Mahal, Nagpur with an idea of creating a Hindu nation. After the 1927 Nagpur riots RSS gained further popularity in Nagpur and the organization grew nationwide. After Indian independence After India gained independence in 1947, Central Provinces and Berar became a province of India. In 1950, the Central Provinces and Berar was reorganized as the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh with Nagpur as its capital. When the Indian states were reorganized along the linguistic lines in 1956, Nagpur and Berar regions were transferred to the state of Bombay, which was split into the states of Maharashtra and Gujarat in 1960. At a formal public ceremony held on 14 October 1956 in Nagpur, B. R. Ambedkar and his supporters converted to Buddhism, which started the Dalit Buddhist movement that is still active. In 1994, the city of Nagpur witnessed its most violent day in modern times in the form of Gawari Stampede. Nagpur completed 300 years of establishment in the year 2002. A big celebration was organized to mark the event. Geography Topography Nagpur is located at the exact center of the Indian Peninsula. The city has the zero milestone locating the geographical center of India, which was used by the British to measure all distances within the Indian subcontinent. 
The city lies on the Deccan Plateau of the Indian Peninsula and has a mean altitude of 310.5 metres above sea level. The underlying rock strata are covered with alluvial deposits resulting from the flood plain of the Kanhan River. In some places, these give rise to granular sandy soil. In low-lying areas, which are poorly drained, the soil is alluvial clay with poor permeability characteristics. In the eastern part of the city, crystalline metamorphic rocks such as gneiss, schist and granites are found, while in the northern part yellowish sandstones and clays of the lower Gondwana formations are found. Nagpur city is dotted with natural and artificial lakes. The largest lake is Ambazari Lake. Other natural lakes include Gorawada Lake and Talankedai Lake. Sonagaon and Gandasagar lakes are artificial, created by the city's historical rulers. Nag River, Pili Nadi, and Nalas form the natural drainage pattern for the city. Nagpur is known for its greenery and was adjudged the cleanest and second greenest in India after Chandigarh in 2010. Topic climate Nagpur has tropical savanna climate a in Köppen climate classification with dry conditions prevailing for most of the year. It receives about 163 mm of rainfall in June. The amount of rainfall is increased in July to 294 mm. Gradual decrease of rainfall has been observed from July to August 278 mm and September 160 mm. The highest recorded daily rainfall was 304 mm on 14 July 1994. Summers are extremely hot, lasting from March to June, with May being the hottest month. Winter lasts from November to January, during which temperatures drop below 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest recorded temperature in the city was 48 degrees Celsius on 19 May 2015, while the lowest was 3.9 degrees Celsius on 16 January 2016. Extreme weather The average number of heat wave days occurring in Nagpur in the summer months of March, April and May is 0.5, 2.4 and 7.2 days respectively. May is the most uncomfortable and hottest month with, for example, 18 days of heat waves being experienced in 1973, 1988 and 2010. The summer season is characterized by other severe weather activity like thunderstorms, dust storms, hailstorms and squalls. Generally, hailstorms occur during March and dust storms during March and April. These occur infrequently 0.1 per days. Squalls occur more frequently with 0.3 per days in March and April rising to 0.8 per days in May. Due to the heat waves in the city the Indian government with the help of New York-based National Resources Defense Council has launched a heat wave program from March 2016. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administration Topic. Second capital of Maharashtra Nagpur was the capital of central provinces and Berar for 100 years. After the state reorganization in 1956, Nagpur and Vidarbha region become part of the new Maharashtra state. With this Nagpur lost the capital status and hence a pact was signed between leaders, the Nagpur Pact. According to the pact, Nagpur is the second capital of Maharashtra and the winter session of state legislature and the state legislative council takes place in Vidhan Bhavan, Nagpur. Nagpur has a district court and its own bench of the Bombay High Court. The city consists of six Vidhan Sabha constituencies namely Nagpur West, Nagpur South, Nagpur South West, Nagpur East, Nagpur North and Nagpur Central. These constituencies are part of the Nagpur Lok Sabha constituency. Topic. Local government The Municipal Council for Nagpur was established in 1864. At that time, the area under the jurisdiction of the Nagpur Municipal Council was 15.5 square kilometres and the population was 82,000. The duties entrusted to the Nagpur Municipal Council were to maintain cleanliness and arrange for street lights and water supply with government assistance. The municipal corporation came into existence in March 1951. Nagpur is administered by the Nagpur Municipal Corporation NMC, which is a democratically elected civic governing body. The corporation elects a mayor who along with a deputy mayor heads the organization. 
The mayor carries out the activities through various committees such as the Standing Committee, Health and Sanitation Committee, Education Committee, Water Works, Public Works, Public Health and Market Committee. The administrative head of the corporation is the Municipal Commissioner, an Indian Administrative Service officer appointed by the state government. The Municipal Commissioner along with the Deputy Municipal Commissioners, carry out various activities related to engineering, health and sanitation, taxation and its recovery. Various departments such as public relations, library, health, finance, buildings, slums, roads, street lighting, traffic, establishment, gardens, public works, local audit, legal services, water works, education, octroi and fire services manage their specific activities. The activities of NMC are administered by its zonal offices. There are ten zonal offices in Nagpur, Laxmi Nagar, Dharampath, Hanuman Nagar, Dantoli, Nehru Nagar, Gandhi Ba, Sataranjapura, Lakadganj, Ashi Nagar and Mangalwari. These zones are divided into 145 wards. Each ward is represented by a corporator, a majority of whom are elected in local elections. NMC has various departments including healthcare, education, fire brigade etc. dedicated for each service and project of the city. Nagpur Improvement Trust NIT is a local planning authority which works with NMC and carries out the development of the civic infrastructure and new urban areas on its behalf. NIT is headed by a chairman, an Indian Administrative Service Officer appointed by the state government. Maharashtra State Cabinet in 2016 had paved the way for NIT to become Nagpur Metropolitan Region Development Authority NMRDA. NMRDA was notified by the government of Maharashtra in March 2017. NMRDA has been made on the lines of Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority. NMRDA has been mandated to monitor development in the metropolis comprising 721 villages across nine tehsils in the district. The body is headed by Metropolitan Commissioner, an Indian Administrative Service Officer appointed by the state government as was with the NIT chairman. Although delayed, NIT was to be dissolved and merged with NMC till 15 June 2018 as stated by the state government but has been given a stay order from Nagpur Bench of Bombay High Court on June 2018. Nagpur Police is headed by a police commissioner who is of the rank of Additional Director General of Police of Maharashtra Police. Nagpur Police is divided into four zones, each headed by a Deputy Commissioner of Police, while traffic zones are divided into seven zones each headed by Inspector. The State CID Regional Headquarter and State Reserve Police Force Campus are situated in Nagpur. <laughs> <laughs> Utility services Originally, all the utility services of the city were carried out by NMC departments, but from 2008 onwards privatization had started for major utility services. The Orange City Water Private Limited OCW, a joint venture of Veolia Water India Private Limited and Vishwaraj Infrastructure Limited, manages the water supply for the city as well as Nagpur Municipal Corporation's water treatment plants at Gorawada, all the elevated service reservoirs, ground service reservoirs, master balancing reservoirs commonly known as water tanks. This joint venture was established in November 2011 and was awarded the contract to execute 24 by 7 water supply project and operational and maintenance of water works for 25 years. Kanak Resources Management Limited has been awarded the contract for garbage collection in the city as per Nagpur Bin Free Project in 2009 by NMC. It collects garbage from all the residents in the city and then delivers it to the Bandawadi Dumpyard in Nagpur's eastern part. Similarly, in electricity supply, which was first managed by MSEB was then replaced by MSEDCL. After some years the distribution franchisee system was introduced to reduce the losses in the divisions and so Spanco was awarded the distribution franchisee for 15 years to manage three of the four divisions from Nagpur Urban Circle namely, Civil Lines, Mahal and Gandhiba on 23 February 2011 by MSEDCL. To facilitate this system, Spanco Nagpur Discom Limited or SNDL Nagpur Company was formed for the sole purpose of electricity distribution and maintenance in three divisions of the city. The power distribution and maintenance for the fourth division i.e. Congress Nagar Division is still being managed by MSEDCL. 
India Post which is a governmental postal department has two head post offices and many post offices and sub post offices at various locations in the city and are part of the logistics services in the city along with various other private operators. Topic Health Care NMC In collaboration with Central Government, State Government, UNICEF, World Health Organization and Non-Governmental Organization conducts and maintains various health schemes in the city. City Health Line is an initiative started by NMC dedicated to the health of citizens of Nagpur. This includes providing computerized comparative information and action in the field to local citizens. NMC runs three indoor patient hospitals including Indira Gandhi Rugnalaya at Lad Square, Panchpauli Maternity Hospital in Panchpauli and Isolation Hospital in Imamwada. Besides, the civic body runs three big diagnostic centers at Mahal, Siddhar and also at Indira Gandhi Rugnalaya. Apart from these, NMC has 57 outpatient dispensaries OPDs, including 23 health posts sanctioned under union government schemes, 15 allopathy hospitals, 12 Ayurvedic hospitals, 3 homeopathy hospitals, 3 naturopathy hospitals and 1 Unani hospital. In 2013, ABP News Ipsos declared Nagpur the country's best city for health care services. The city is home to numerous hospitals, some run by the government and some private and consists of various super-specialty and multi-specialty ones. Recently various cancer specialty hospitals providing treatment till tertiary care for cancer patients have been established in the city making it a natural medical hub for nearby areas and boosting health care system in the city. Nagpur is a health hub for central India and caters to a large geographical area arbitrarily bounded by Delhi in the north, Kolkata in the east, Mumbai Pune in the west and Hyderabad in the south. People from Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttar Pradesh, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana regularly come to Nagpur for their health needs. Nagpur boasts of super-specialty physicians and surgeons serving its population in both public sector government-run hospitals and well-equipped private hospitals catering to all strata of society. AIIMS is the latest feather in the cap of Nagpur Health Care Services which will be located near Meehan. According to 2005 National Family Health Survey, Nagpur has a fertility rate of 1.9 which is below the replacement level. The infant mortality rate was 43 per 1,000 live births, and the mortality rate for children under 5 was 50 per 1,000 live births. About 57% slum and 72% non-slum children have received all the mandatory vaccines which include BCG, measles and full courses of polio and DPT. In Nagpur, 78% of poor children are anemic, including 49% who have moderate to severe anemia. About 45% of children under 5 years of age and 31% of women are underweight. The poor people from the city mostly cite the reason of lack of a nearby facility, poor quality of care and excessive waiting time for not visiting any government hospitals for treatment. <laughs> Greater Nagpur Metropolitan Area Nagpur is the third largest in Maharashtra in terms of population as per the 2011 census. Since the 1990s, the urban agglomeration has rapidly expanded beyond the city's municipal boundaries. This growth has presented challenges for the future growth of the city and its fringes in an organized manner. With a view to achieve balanced development within the region, the Nagpur Improvement Trust NIT has been notified as the Special Planning Authority SPA for the Nagpur Metropolitan Area NMA and entrusted with preparation of a statutory development plan as per provisions of the MRTP Act, 1966. The notified NMA comprises areas outside the Nagpur city and includes 721 villages under nine tehsils of the Nagpur district spreading across an area of 3,567 square kilometres. In 1999, the government of Maharashtra declared that the Nagpur metropolitan area shall comprise all of Nagpur city, Nagpur Graman rural areas near Nagpur, Hingna, Parsuni, Mauda and Kampti Taluka and parts of Savnar, Kalmeshwar, Umrad and Kuhi. The boundaries of the metro region around the municipal corporation limits of the city have been defined as per the notification. In 2002, the government extended the jurisdiction of the Nagpur Improvement Trust NIT by 25 to 40 km. This new area was defined under Clause 1 of NIT ACT 1936 as Nagpur Metropolitan Area. NIT has proposed the metro region plan in two phases. 
Topic: Military establishments. Nagpur is an important city for the Indian Armed Forces. Maintenance Command of Indian Air Force has its current headquarter at Vayasena Nagar in Nagpur. It houses Mi-8 helicopters and the IAF carriers IL-76 and handles the maintenance, repair, and operations of all aircraft, helicopters and other equipment, the Ordnance Factory and Staff College of Ordnance Factory Ambajari and National Academy of Defense Production for Group A Officer of Ordnance Factories are in the western part of the city. Sitabuddy Fort is managed by the 118th Infantry Battalion of the Indian Army and citizens are allowed to visit the premises on certain days. The Raison d'etre for Camp T, the military cantonment, is still operational. Camp T cantonment houses the Officers' Training Academy for National Cadets Corps, which is the only one of its kind. It is also the home of one of the oldest and most respected regiments in the Indian Army, the Brigade of the Guards. Guards, located at Camp T, are the only group in the Indian Army which have won two PVC Param Vir Chakra, the highest gallantry awarded to soldiers for wartime operations. There are also other important units such as the Institute of Military Law and a well-equipped military hospital to care for the health of the soldiers. The Army Postal Service Center is also operational in the cantonment since 1948, to provide training to personnel of Department of Post who volunteer themselves for the Army. Nagpur's National Civil Defence College provides civil defence and disaster management training to pupils from all over India and abroad. Indian Air Force's giant IL-76 transport planes nicknamed Gajraj are also based in Nagpur. Topic Smart City Project The Maharashtra government had appointed Larson and Tubro as the implementation partner to convert Orange City Nagpur into the country's first large-scale, integrated, smart city. The state government had also decided to develop the city complete with five hubs, from textile centres to defence sector. Nagpur was selected from Maharashtra among other cities under Government of India's Smart Cities mission. City was selected in the third round of selection. For the implementation of the projects under Smart Cities mission a special purpose vehicle was formed which was named Nagpur Smart and Sustainable City Development Corporation Limited. Demographics Population As of the 2011 census, Nagpur municipality has a population of 2,405,665. The total population constitute, 1,225,405 males and 1,180,270 females. The total children ages 0 to 6 are 247,078, of whom 128,290 are boys and 118,788 are girls. Children form 10.27% of total population of Nagpur. The total number of slums number 179,952, in which 859,487 people reside. This is around 35.73% of the total population of Nagpur. The municipality has a sex ratio of 963 females per 1,000 males and child sex ratio of 926 girls per 1,000 boys. 1,984,123 people are literate, of whom 1,036,097 are male and 948,026 are female. Average literacy rate of Nagpur city are 91.92%. Men are 94.44% and women are 89.31% literate. Topic: <inaudible> Religion and language. Hinduism is majority religion in Nagpur city with 59.46% followers. Buddhism is second most popular religion in Nagpur city with 25.57% following it. In Nagpur city, Islam is followed by 11.95%, Christianity by 1.15%, Jainism by 0.90% and Sikhism by 0.68%. Around 0.10% stated other religion and approximately 0.20% stated no particular religion. In Nagpur, Marathi is the official and most spoken language. 
Hindi and Varhadi a dialect of Marathi are also spoken in and around the city, also the Marathi spoken in the city is quite distinct that from western Maharashtra. English, Hindi and Marathi are used for the transaction of business in the legislature of the state. Economy Nagpur is an emerging metropolis. In 2004, it was ranked the fastest growing city in India in terms of the number of households with an annual income of 1 crore rupees 10 million or more. Nagpur has been the main centre of commerce in the region of Vidarbha since its early days and is an important trading location. Although, Nagpur's economic importance gradually declined relative to Mumbai and Pune after the merging of Vidarbha into the Maharashtra because of a period of neglect by the state government, the city's economy later recovered. During the slowdown, state and central government offices were a major source of employment. Nagpur's economy has recovered from past slowdowns and the city has attracted 5,000 crore rupees in investment in 2004. It was ranked the eighth most competitive city in the country by the Institute for Competitiveness for the year 2017. Its per capita income was 123,610 rupees $1,700 in 2015. The city is important for the banking sector as it hosts the regional office of Reserve Bank of India, which was opened on 10 September 1956. The Reserve Bank of India has two branches in Nagpur, one of which houses India's entire gold assets. Sitabudi Market in central Nagpur, known as the heart of the city, is the major commercial market area. Nagpur is home to ice cream manufacturer Dinshaws, Indian dry food manufacturer Haldarams, Indian ready to cook food manufacturer Akchawa, and Ayurvedic products company Vikko and Badianath. For centuries, Nagpur has been famous for its orange gardens in the country, hence the name, Orange City. Orange cultivation has been expanding and it is the biggest marketplace for oranges in the country. The Maharashtra Agro Industrial Development Corporation has its multi fruit processing division called Nagpur Orange Growers Association, which has an installed capacity of 4,950 mt of fruits per annum. Orange is also exported to various regions in the country as well to other countries. Nagpur is also famous for the cotton and silk, which is woven by its large Kashti population of handloom weavers, which are around 5,000. Nagpur and the Vidarbha region have a very prominent power sector as compared to the rest of Maharashtra. Karadi Thermal Power Station and Kaparkheda Thermal Power Station are two major thermal power stations located near Nagpur and operated by MSPGCL. NTPC has a super thermal power plant called Mauda Super Thermal Power Station in Mauda around 40 km from Nagpur and Vidarbha Industries Power Limited a subsidiary of Reliance Power is situated in Budabori. The Multi-Modal International Hub Airport at Nagpur is a project for the Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar International Airport, Nagpur. It is the biggest economical development project currently underway in India in terms of investments. The project aims to exploit the central location of Nagpur and convert the airport into a major cargo hub with integrated road and rail connectivity. This project consists of two parts. An international airport to act as a cargo hub and a special economic zone says with residential zone covering an area of 40.25 square kilometers on the southern end of Nagpur the government of Maharashtra formed a special purpose entity Maharashtra Airport Development Company for the development of Mihan the project is financed by indian banks with a loan of 3000 million rupees along with investment from the state government and airports authority of india with a projected target of serving 14 million passengers and handling 0.87 million tons of cargo, this is one of the largest aviation projects in India. The estimated capital cost of the project is 2,581 crore rupees by the year 2035 and it is supposed to generate revenues 5,280 crore rupees. TCS, India's largest IT company, has built its campus on a 50-acre area in the Mihan says. Infosys has commenced its construction work for its Nagpur campus at Mihan says. Mahindra Satam is also building its campus. Tall Manufacturing Solutions has its facility in the says for manufacturing structural components for Boeing 787 Dreamliner aeroplane. 
Air India has its MRO facility in the SES, which was constructed by Boeing and is ready for commercial operation. Reliance Group has announced an aerospace park named Dhirubhai Ambani Aerospace Park (DAAP) in Mehan, which will be undertaken by Reliance Aerostructure Limited. The project would be the first integrated facility in aerospace structure, engine design and manufacture, fabrication and platform integration in the country. The Budabori industrial area is one of the largest in Asia in terms of area. The estate's largest unit is Indo Rama Synthetics, which manufactures synthetic polyester yarn. Other units in Budabori include the power transmission company Gammon India Limited, Gammon India Limited, Infra, KEC, Ace Refractories, Hyundai Unitech, ACC Nihon Castings Limited, and Electrolux. CEAT Tires had announced its plans to invest 400 crore rupees in a state of the art tire plant in Budabori, Nagpur. Devendra Fadnavis, Chief Minister of Maharashtra, laid the cornerstone for the plant that will be set up in three phases. In the first phase, 2014 to 2016, Rs. 400 crore was to be invested. The Hingna Industrial Estate on the western fringes of the city is made up of around 900 small and medium industrial units. The major ones among them are the tractor manufacturing plant of Mahindra and Mahindra, casting units of Nico Limited, the country's largest casting group, units of International Combustion, Bajaj Auto Group, Kandako, the second largest confectionery manufacturing plant in India, Bharat Containers making aluminium aerosol cans, Ajanta Toothbrushes and Sanvijay Group, the largest steel rolling group of companies for long products in central India. Kalmeshwar MIDC has almost 150 industrial plots. JSW Steel, KTM Textile, ESAB India Limited, Zim Pharma Limited, Metlock Private Limited, Uniwals Life Sciences, Chemfield Pharmaceuticals Private Limited, Minex Injection Product Private Limited, Minex Metallurgical Co. Limited, and Porohit Textile are a few big names. Owing to rich natural resources in the region, mining is a major activity. Several government organizations related to the mining industry are based in Nagpur, which includes Western Coalfields Limited, one of the eight fully owned subsidiaries of Coal India Limited, Moil and Indian Bureau of Mines. Topic education Nagpur is a major education hub in central India. There are two types of schools in the city. NMC government run schools and private schools run by trusts. These schools follow the 10 plus 2 plus 3 quarters plan 15 years of schooling leading to the first degree, the first 10 years constituting school education consisting of 4 years primary level, 3 years of upper primary level and 3 years of high school level with a public examination at the end of 10th class and 12th class constituting the secondary and higher secondary board examination respectively. This is followed by either a general degree course in a chosen field of study, or a professional degree course, such as law, engineering and medicine. These schools are governed by either of the following boards, Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education, Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, Indian Certificate of Secondary Education ICSE, and the International Baccalaureate IB admission to professional graduation colleges in Nagpur is through MHT SET, G, Maine, CAT and NEET Vasantrao Naik Government Institute of Arts and Social Sciences established in 1885 as Morris College is an old college in the city. City. College of Agriculture is another old college in the city, founded in 1906 by the then British government. It is one of the first five agriculture colleges in the country. Nagpur has four government medical colleges, Government Medical College, Indira Gandhi Government Medical College, Nagpur, Government Dental College and Government Ayurvedic College, and also a private MBBS institute, NKP SAV Institute of Medical Sciences and Research Center. Medical colleges in the city are affiliated to Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. Recently All India Institute of Medical Sciences has been established and it has also started its classes from GMCH campus temporarily till its own campus gets constructed. Nagpur has four state universities, Rashtrasant Tukadoji Maharaj Nagpur University founded in 1923 as Nagpur University, one of the oldest in the country and having more than 600 affiliated colleges, Maharashtra Animal and Fishery Sciences University, Kavikulaguru Kalidas Sanskrit University and Maharashtra National Law University. Most engineering colleges in the city are affiliated with Rashtrasant Tukadoji Maharaj Nagpur University. 
Laxminarayan Institute of Technology established 1942 is a chemical engineering and technology institute located in Nagpur and managed directly by Rashtrasant Tukadoji Maharaj Nagpur University. Government Polytechnic, Nagpur established 1914 is one of the oldest polytechnic in India. Visvesvaraya National Institute of Technology, is the only NIT in Maharashtra. Indian Institute of Information Technology has been recently established as a PPP with TCS and Census erstwhile ADCC Infocad as industry partners. It is one of the two IIIT in Maharashtra, the other one being located in Pune. Government College of Engineering is the first state government-run engineering college in the city which was established in 2016. Nagpur has two major management institutes, Indian Institute of Management and Institute of Management Technology. Nagpur also has other centrally funded institutes like National Power Training Institute, Central Institute for Cotton Research, Central Institute of Mining and Fuel Research, Central Power Research Institute, National Academy of Direct Taxes, National Civil Defense College, National Research Center for Citrus, Petroleum and Explosives Safety Organization, and National Environmental Engineering Research Institute. Government Chitrakala Mahadyalaya is also a premier institute in the city. Nagpur also has a IGNAU and YCMOU regional center. Culture Cultural events and literature The city contains people from other Indian states as well as people belonging to the world's major faiths, and yet is known for staying calm during communal conflicts in India. Nagpur plays host to cultural events throughout the year. Cultural and literary societies in Nagpur include Vidarbha Sahitya Sangh for development of Marathi, Vidarbha Rashtrabhasha Prachar Samiti promotion and, spreading Hindi and Vidarbha Hindi Sahitya Samelan for promoting Hindi. Marathi Sahitya Samelan, the conference on Marathi literature were held twice in Nagpur city. Nagpur is the head office of Adam Samvidan Sanrakshan Samiti working for the rights of scheduled tribes the South Central Cultural Centre also sponsors cultural events in Nagpur city, such as the Orange City Craft Mela and Folk Dance Festival, Vidarbha which is noted for its numerous folk dances. Newspapers are published from Nagpur in Marathi, English and Hindi. In addition, the government of Maharashtra organizes a week-long Kalidas festival, a series of music and dance performances, by national-level artists. Nagpur Municipal Corporation in partnership with Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation organizes Nagpur Mohatsiv at Yeshwant Stadium, in which many distinguished artists participate. The Nagpur Central Museum Est, 1863, maintains collections are mainly for Vidarbha region. Three brothers Ghulam Ali Kotwal, Muhammad Sadadan Subadar, and Muhammad Saladuddin Minister and Kotwal from Jajar are remembered as great scholars of Urdu and Persian during the reign of Maharaja Senasaheb Subha Chhatrapati Raguji Bapasaheb Bansal III. They founded Jajar Bagh at Hansapuri now Mamanpura. In this location, they built their residence Aina -e Mahal, a well and a masjid now Masjid al Hadith, Jajar Bagh also known as Subadar Ka Bada was located where nowadays Muhammad Ali Road at Mamanpura, Jamia Masjid, Muhammad Ali Sarai and Forkaniya Madrasa are located. The state government has approved a new safari park of international standards besides Gorawada Lake. In 2013 NMC erected the gigantic Namantar Shahid Smarak in memory of Namantar Andolan martyrs. Topic: Religious places and festivals. Dikshabumi, the largest hollow stupa or the largest dome-shaped monument and an important place of the Buddhist movement, is located in Nagpur. Every year on the day of Vijayadashami, i.e. Dussehra, followers of Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar visit Dikshabumi to mark the conversion ceremony of Ambedkar and his followers in Nagpur into Buddhism that took place on the 14th of October 1956. It has been given a grade tourist place status by Maharashtra government in March 2016. The 14th of April, which is the birth date of Dr. Ambedkar, is celebrated as Ambedkar Janti. Jainism has a good presence in Nagpur. There are nearly 30 Jain temples. The old ones are Sengan Jain Temple Ladpura, Parwarpura Jain Temple, Karana Ali Jain Temple, and Juna Ali Jain Temple. 
In West Nagpur Shri 1008 Shantinath Digambar Bhagwan Temple is situated. The most famous temple in Nagpur is Tekdi Ganesh Mandir, and is said to be one of the Swayambu self -manifested temples in the city. Shri Padareshwar Ram Mandir and Shri Mahalaksmi Devi Temple of Karadi are important Hindu temples. Religious events are observed in the city throughout the year. Ram Navami is celebrated in Nagpur with Shobha Yatra with a procession of floats depicting events from the Ramayana. Processions are also held on important festivals of other religions such as Dhamma Chakra Pravartan Din, Vijayadashami, Eid e Malad, Guru Nanak Janti, Mahavir Janti, Durga Puja, Ganesh Chaturthi, and Moharam. Like the rest of India, Nagpurkars celebrate major Hindu festivals like Diwali, Holi and Dussehra with enthusiasm. Celebrations lasting for several days are held on Ganesh Chaturthi and Durga Puja festivals in virtually every small locality in the city. The city also contains a sizable Muslim population, and famous places of worship for Muslims include the Jama Masjid Maminpura and Bori Jamatkana Itwari. The most famous shrine Darga of Tajuddin Muhammad Badruddin is at Tajabad. Annual Ors is celebrated in great enthusiasm and unity on 26 Muharram. Nagpur is also called as Tajpur as the holy shireen of Sufi Saint Baba Tajuddin. The Saint Francis de Sales Cathedral is located in Siddhar as well as the All Saints Cathedral Church. There are many South Indian temples in Nagpur like Sarveshwara Devalayam, where all South Indian festivals are celebrated like Siddharama Kalyanam, Radha Kalyanam Donarmasa celebration with Andal Kalyanam, Balaji Temple in Seminary Hills where every year Brahmatsavam to Lord Balaji and Lord Kartikya is celebrated here. There are two Ayapa temples, one at Ayapa Nagar and the other at Harihara Nagar, Raghvendraswami Mutt, Murugananda Swami Temple at Mohan Nagar, Nimishamba Devi Temple Subramanyam Devastanam at Siddhabuddhi and many more such South Indian temples are here in Nagpur as there is quite a good populations of South Indians in Nagpur. Marbat festival is a unique festival for Nagpur and is organized every year a day after the Bullock festival of Pola. The tradition of taking out the marbat processions of Kali black and Pivli yellow marbats idols, started in 1880 in the eastern part of the city. A number of Bajiyas mascots, representing contemporary symbols of evil, comprise another feature of the annual processions. This festival dates back to the 19th century when the Bonsla dynasty ruled. There is a Parsi Zoroastrian Ajiyari Dar -e -mer in Nagpur, where the Parsi New Year is celebrated by the Parsi community in Nagpur. Arts and crafts The tradition of painting in Nagpur was patronized by the royal house of the Bonsales as well as common people. Illustrated manuscripts of the Bhagavat, Jainaneshwari, Shakuntala, Gita etc. and the folk Padachitras related to some festivals are available besides murals. The community of artists was called Chitaras painters, and this community has today turned to sculpting. Textile was once an important industry in Nagpur. Good quality cotton was produced in abundant quantities thanks to a suitable soil and climate. With the introduction of the railways, cotton sales and goods transport flourished. Besides cotton textiles, silk and wool weaving was also practiced in the district. Silk saris and pagoda, patka, dhoti, and borders were woven with the silk thread. Topic cuisine The Vidarbha region has its own distinctive cuisine known as the Varhadi cuisine or Sauji cuisine. Sauji or Savji cuisine was the main cuisine of the Savji community. This traditional food is famous for its spicy taste. The special spices used in the gravy include black pepper, dry coriander, bay leaves, grey cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, and ample use of poppy seeds kous kous. Non-vegetarian food especially chicken and mutton are commonly eaten in Sauji joints at Nagpur. There are numerous Savji bojanales in Nagpur which are so popular in Maharashtra that the renowned Indian chef Sanjeev Kapoor once featured Savji mutton on one of his TV shows and the recipe is listed on his website. Nagpur is also famous for its oranges, which have some typical qualities have recently begun to attract international attention. Numerous beverages are made out of the oranges, and the orange burfi is a very famous preparation. Nagpur is also world famous for tari poha and has many food joints, each having their own way of preparing and serving it. The most famous food joint serving tari poha is Rupam Pahewala, who has a makeshift arrangement in a footpath beside Kosterchand Park in Kingsway. 
Samosas are also famous in Nagpur and is available at many restaurants and food spots, among which Pretty Corner and Samosawala near Shankar Nagar is very famous among the youth population. Another famous food Patodi and Kadi, which is served by Patodawala's joint, near the collector's office, beside district court is loved by many people in Nagpur and is famous among the office goers. Nagpur also has a prominent Daba culture due to the various important highways crossing through the city. Most of these dabas are situated on the city outskirts along the highway and are mostly open 24-7. The dabas cater to all the demographics from families to young professionals to students to truck drivers. The food served is mostly spicy vegetable and non-vegetable preparations along with alcohol. One more thing that the Orange City is famous for is Orange Barfi from Haldaram Sweets, Nagpur's most famous sweets store. Haldaram's sweets and namkeens are extensively given on all festival occasions such as Diwali, Holi, Rakshabandhan and Ganesh festival. Tourism Topic Garden and Lake Kinsey Lake, a lake view family park with boat rides and other activities, situated about 60 km away from the city. Ambazari Lake and Garden, one of the lakes and gardens in the Nagpur city area, newly constructed Swami Vivekananda Smarak at southeast corner of lake is an attractive place. Futala Lake, it is one of the top hangout places in Nagpur. Shukrawari Lake it is lake having garden at center of it. Gorawada Lake Topic. Wildlife Umrad Karhandla Wildlife Sanctuary, Umrad Karhandla is around two hours from Nagpur and has three gates. It is famous for tigers. Maharajba Zoo, it is in center of the city. Has many animals like tiger, monkey, crocodile, deer, etc. And opens all seven days a week. Gorawada Zoo Topic Religious Dikshabhumi, Buddhist stupa in Rani Laxmanagar. There is a Bodhi tree which is a sapling from the Bodhi tree of Bodh Gaya, which itself was planted by bringing a sapling from Sri Lanka. The place is historical as this is where Dr. B. R. Ambedkar along with his lakhs of followers chose to renounce Hinduism and adopted took Diksha Buddhism on 14 October 1956. Ramtek Fort Temple, this temple is built inside fort. It is one of the oldest temple 55 km away from Nagpur. Ramdam, spiritual and cultural place near Mansur on the way to Ramtek Adasa Ganpati Temple Jain Mandir Ramtek, newly constructed stone temple having good ancient style architecture. Dragon Palace Buddhist Temple Shri Ganesh Mandir Tekdi Sai Baba Temple Talanketai Hanuman Temple Baba Tajuddin Darga Swaminarayan Temple, newly constructed temple of Swami Narayan at Wathoda East Nagpur. It is constructed with stones with carved sculptures. Others Raman Science Center, a park with many scientific experimental playful installations. It also has planetarium inside. Toy Train Museum, a small museum about historical narrow gauge trains. Highland Park, Amusement Park Fun and Food Village, Amusement Park, famous for its aqua park. Sports Nagpur is a big centre for cricket in Vidarbha because of the Vidarbha Cricket Association. Vidarbha Cricket Association is the governing body of cricket activities in the Vidarbha region in Maharashtra. It is affiliated to the Board of Control for Cricket in India. Nagpur is one of the few Indian cities that has more than one international cricket stadium, the older one being the Vidarbha Cricket Association ground situated in civil lines, and the new one, the Vidarbha Cricket Association Stadium, inaugurated in 2008 is situated in Jamtha, Warda Road on the outskirts of the city. Vidarbha Cricket Association Stadium has been built on Warda Road with a seating capacity of 45,000 people at a cost of 75 crore rupees $10 million. It is one of the 15 test cricket venues in the country. Vidarbha Cricket Association ground has been the venue for the 1987 Reliance World Cup and 1996 Wills World Cup. Vidarbha Cricket Association Stadium has been the venue for the 2011 Cricket World Cup and 2016 ICC World 2020. 
The stadium also hosts certain matches of the Indian Premier League and had been the home city for the now defunct Deccan Chargers in the 2010 season and was also the home city for Kings XI Punjab along with Mahali in the 2016 season. Vidarbha Cricket Association also has a residential cricket academy at the main centre in Vidarbha Cricket Association ground and three more centres. Vidarbha Hockey Association is a body governing hockey in the Vidarbha region and is affiliated to Hockey India as an associate member. Vidarbha Hockey Association Stadium is the hockey ground owned and managed by Vidarbha Hockey Association. Western India Football Association is the state governing body for football in Maharashtra, and is affiliated with the All India Football Federation, the national sports governing body. The Nagpur District Football Association is a district level football body and conducts various matches among the schools and clubs. It has its own league. Lokmat NPL, Nagpur Premier League, another football tournament, is held at Nagpur annually and was started in 2010 by Lokmat Group in Yeshwant Stadium. Nagpur FC and YMFC are renowned football clubs in the city. Other clubs include, Ribani Club, Rahul Club, City Police, South East Central Railway, Kidwai Club, SRPF, New Globe and City Club. Nagpur FC has its own football academy in Donwate National College. Congress Nagar, Slum Soccer is a social initiative started by Vijay Bars for young runaways and former drug addicts to rehabilitate them through football. Topic media The Hitavada is the largest selling broadsheet English daily newspaper of central India. It was founded in 1911 by freedom fighter Gopal Krishna Gokhale in Nagpur. Other English dailies circulated in the city include The Times of India, The Indian Express, The Economic Times and Lokmat Times. Lokmat is largest circulated Marathi Marathi newspapers in Nagpur, and has its administrative office in the city. Tarun Bharat, Deshanati, Maharashtra Times, Punya Nagari, Lakshahi Varda, Saikal, Divya Marathi and Laksata are other Marathi dailies available. Hindi newspapers such as Yugdharma, Nava Bharat, Dainik Bhaskar and Lakmat Samachar are also circulated. Bim Geet singer Prakashnath Patankar Native Place is also here. Employment News, which is published weekly, is also circulated in Hindi, English and Urdu. All India Radio is the oldest radio broadcaster in the city and has its office in the Civil Lines area. Vivi Bharati, the entertainment radio station, and Gyan Vani, the educational radio station, are the FM radio stations of All India Radio and are available in the frequency 100.6 FM and 107.8 FM respectively. Other private FM broadcasting channels with their frequencies include Radio City at 91.1 FM, Red FM at 93.5 FM, My FM at 94.3 FM, Radio Mirchi at 98.3 FM, Mirchi Love FM at 91.9 FM and Big FM at 92.7 FM. Television broadcasting in Nagpur began on 15 August 1982 with the launch of Doordarshan, the government of India's public service broadcaster. It transmits DD National and DD News, which are free-to-air terrestrial television channels and one regional satellite channel called DD Sayadri. Private satellite channels started in the 1990s. There is also a television channel based in the city called Lord Buddha TV, which was started in 2010 and mainly follows the Buddhist teachings and the Dalit movement in India. Satellite TV channels are accessible via cable subscription, direct broadcast satellite services or internet-based television. Cable TV operators or multi-system operators in the city include UCN Cable Network, GTPL, in cable, BCN and Diamond Cable Network. All the DTH operators in the country are available in the city viz. Airtel Digital TV, DD Free Dish, Dish TV, Sun Direct, Reliance Digital TV, Videocon D2H, and Tata Sky. Broadband internet service is available in the city and is provided by various internet service providers. Wi-Fi is available in certain educational institutes and certain areas in the city. Currently 3G services in the city are provided by BSNL, Airtel, Tata Docomo, Vodafone and Idea Cellular, and 4G services in the city are provided by Airtel, Geo, Idea Cellular and Vodafone. Transport Rail 
Railways started in Nagpur way back in 1867 when portion of Bombay Busaval Nagpur line was opened for traffic and train service from Nagpur to Calcutta was started in 1881. Today, a total of 260 trains stop at Nagpur railway station. These include passenger, express, mail, Duranta, Rajdhani, Garabrath trains. Of these 65 are daily trains and 26 terminate, originate from Nagpur. Almost 1.6 lakh passengers board, leave Nagpur Railway Station Nagpur Railway Station, one of the oldest and busiest stations of India was inaugurated in its present from on 15 January 1925 by the then Governor Sir Frank. Apart from the Nagpur Railway Station, Ajni Railway Station and Itwari Railway Station are the important stations of the city. Other railway stations in the city include Motaba, Kalamna and Godhani. Nagpur Ajni Rail Route which is just 3 km long, is the shortest train run in Indian railways primarily meant for crew to travel from Nagpur station to the workshop at Ajni. The city is the divisional headquarters for the Central Railway and South East Central Railway Zone of Indian Railways. Nagpur is a city with two divisional headquarters, a rare distinction it shares with Lucknow, which has headquarters for two different divisions in Northern Railway Zone and North Eastern Railway Zone. Topic. Nagpur Metro Rail The Nagpur Metro Rail project was announced by the state government of Maharashtra with the expenses of 4,400 crore Indian rupees and 3,800 CR for its first phase which consists of two corridors, North-South Corridor and East-West Corridor of 39.4 km. The site inspection began in March 2012 with initiatives from Nagpur Improvement Trust. The project is to be executed by a new company called Nagpur Metro Rail Co. Limited NMRCL formed under the trust. In July 2015, the project was approved by the government of Maharashtra. The work is expected to be completed by mid 2018. Topic: <laughs> Road Nagpur is a major junction for roadways as India's two major national highways, Srinagar Kanyakumari National Highway 44 and Hahira Paradip Port National Highway 53 pass through the city. National Highway 47 connects Nagpur to Bamanbore in Gurat. Nagpur is at the junction of two Asian highways namely AH-43 Agra to Matara, Sri Lanka and AH-46 connecting Karagpur, India to Dual, India. The new state highway, Nagpur Aurangabad Mumbai Express Highway, built on the national highway basis is also sanctioned by the state and central government. This highway significantly reduces the distance travelled by NH6 and NH3 between two cities. The new proposed Mumbai Nagpur Expressway between Nagpur and Mumbai will be 800 km and projected to be cost 30,000 crore rupees. .2 billion. In 2009, NHAI announced the extension of the existing NH 204 to Nagpur via Kolhapur Sangli Solapur Tulhapur Latour Nanded Yavatmal Warda and connecting it to the NH 7 at Budabori near Nagpur. The entire NH204 highway has been included in the National Highway Mega Projects for upgradation to four lane. One more national highway NH547 Savnar Chindwara Narsingpur has connected with NH47 at Savnar near Nagpur providing another optional connectivity with the northern part of India. Maharashtra State Road Transport Corporation MSRTC runs cheaper transport service for intercity, interstate, and intrastate travel. It has two bus stations in Nagpur, Nagpur Bus Stanok CBS1 at Ganeshpath and Morbawan CBS2 at Jhansi Rani Square, Siddhabuddy. It operates 1600 daily services from CBS1 to long and short distances within state and to places in other surrounding states. It also operates 750 daily services from CBS2 to short distances within Vidarbha. The civic body through its three operators three red and one green piles 375 buses by which over 1.6 lakh people among which 28,000 are students.25 ethanol buses ply on city roads with 30 more on order. These buses are plying under public transport for the very first time in India. A total of 5,500 trips of 123 routes are covered by city buses. A common mobility card has also been issued which will help people commute with buses and upcoming metro rail. 
A green bus project featuring India's first ethanol powered buses was established in August 2014. Topic: Air transport. Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar International Airport IATA, NAG, ICAO, VANP, is operated by Mihan India Private Limited MIPL, and owned by Airports Authority of India. Nagpur's Air Traffic Control ATC, is the busiest in India, with more than 300 flights flying over the city every day in 2004. In October 2005, Nagpur's Sonagaon Airport was declared an international airport and was renamed Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar International Airport. Nagpur is well connected by daily direct flights to Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Bangalore, Pune, Chennai, Kochi, Indore, Allahabad, and Raipur, operated by Air India, Jet Airways, JetConnect, Indigo, GoAir, and AirAsia. Air Arabia operates a four times a week to and fro flight between Nagpur and Sharjah and Qatar Airways operates a direct flight to Doha. The Nagpur Airport has received Special Achievement Award 2012-2013 from Airports Authority of India. Nagpur became the first airport in India to commission the Indra system and also has ADS B system. No other airport in the country had commissioned Indra yet. Nagpur Airport became the first airport in the country to receive an ISO 27000 certificate. In fact, Nagpur is not only the first in India but also the first in world to be certified for Air Navigation Service Provider ANSP. There are seven airports in the world which have ISO 27000, but none of them have it for ANSP. Nagpur is currently witnessing an economic boom as the multi-modal international cargo hub and airport at Nagpur is under development. Mihan will be used for handling heavy cargo coming from Southeast Asia and the Middle East. The project will include 10,000 crore rupees $1.4 billion special economic zone says for information technology it companies. The Government of India has identified Nagpur Airport as one of the safe airports for diverted flights and emergency landing. In fact, many flights have used the airport during emergencies. This is because all international and domestic airlines had already been informed by the government to go to Nagpur during emergencies. The availability of excellent fire-fighting equipment, air traffic control equipment and the latest radar, and being a city with good hospitals and hotels, made the airport a good choice during emergencies. Nagpur Airport has an annual capacity of 10 lakh passengers, but it handled 19 lakh passengers in 2016-17 and 21 lakh passengers in 2017-18 which is an increase of 14% year-on-year. Hence expansion of the airport was necessary. The central government then planned to upgrade the airport by investing 1,500 crore rupees $210 million. Upgrades include construction of the terminal building, some hangars, a parallel second runway of 4.5 km length and a taxiway. For the upgradation of airport the MADC board approved the final tender documents and invited tenders. Mihan India Private Limited MIPL had floated request for qualification RFQ for development of Nagpur Airport for which initially six private companies had evinced interest which were Essel Infrastructures, GMR, IRB, GVK, Tata Realty and PNC Infratech. State Cabinet then approved the proposal for privatization of airport in April 2017. Security clearance from the Ministry of Home Affairs for all the companies were granted except for IRB since it backed down from the deal. On March 2018 Mihan India Private, Limited MIPL floated request for proposal for the companies shortlisted through a request for qualification process held earlier. GVK and GMR ultimately bid for Nagpur Airport project after several extensions. GMR emerged as the highest bidder among the two and has since been awarded the Nagpur Airport project which includes upgradation, modernization, operation and maintenance of the airport for 30 years and also to build a new terminal building. Notable people Twin towns and sister cities <laughs>